So today we're going to look at how do you import course content from a previous year's course to your current year. And this is so important when you've created dynamic activities and, and, and quizzes and, act, and, and, and lessons in your module from the previous year that you want to use again because it was really, really effective uh, for your students. Or what if there's an assignment that you really liked but you wanted to um, make some revisions to make it a lot better and more effective. So, you, so this is a great opportunity to import certain things over. You don't have to import the whole course, but you can import certain things over. Uh, it will save you a lot of time. So let's look at the first course. Uh, I'm going to look at the math course. I'm going to um, try to import some things over from my previous year's math course. So I'm going to click on math, fourth grade. I'm going to go down to settings. I'm going to click on settings and then over to the right I'm going to import course content. And by the way, import course content is under, you have a lot of different tabs here, um, but don't worry about the tabs. The import course content doesn't change over here. This, this bar doesn't change. So import course content. I'm going to select copy a Canvas course. Now this, now don't be afraid, once you click on this, it will not copy your whole Canvas course over yet. It's just going to give you an option if you want to take take over your whole course. Um, I don't want to transfer my whole course, but I want to pick the course here that I want to select some items from. And this is my math fourth grade, us in the previous year, 17, 18. I'm going to click on this button that says select specific content. Now if you want to select all the content, you can click right here and it will copy everything over. I want to select specific content. Now I did at the beginning of the year, I select all content. So you can do that and I'll have all of my content in my courses. But what I go, I go through and I delete what I don't need, I edit what I need to edit and I leave what I need to leave. And so you can do that at first too if you want to hit all content or you can just copy over specific content. So I'm going to hit import. Now right here it's going to wait for me to choose what content I want to uh, transfer over. So I'm going to look at, uh, if you click on the arrow, it will open up all of my modules. Click back on the arrow, it, it kind of collapses it. Here's my assignments, got 101 assignments from the previous year click on my assignments, so here's all my assignments. I can pick a assignment if I wanted to, to bring over. And so uh, I'm going to bring over, let's bring over an assignment. Let's bring over for, t for this exercise. Let's bring over exit quiz angles. So I'm gonna click on it, select content. So right here, it'll tell you that it's running and it takes usually a minute or two for it to complete. Okay, so it's it's still running and, and it's almost complete. Once it, it says complete it, then we'll go back and look. There you go. So it said complete it there and it took a, a minute or two. Go back to your quizzes. And then we can find that exit quiz angles. There it is right there. We can click on it. Now when you go to edit, all right, so when you go into edit, make sure uh, that your assignment is under one of the categories so when you transfer it or sync it to power school um, the grade will, will, will go over um, so I'm gonna look at quiz I'm, a, I'm going to do quiz and sync to power school and so the most important thing is is the date so make sure you have a available date due date uh, that kind of thing um, so I'm gonna put this as a due date Let's do so January through February. I'm, I know I'm going to start um, angles in February or March, so I'll start it there. Then I'm going to have it available before that due date. This is March, so let me change the due date. I think it says March 5th. Did I say March 5th? Yeah, let me go back in here and change this date. I don't think I changed it. Um, let's do February 20th. There we go. And so this will be available from February 20th, 2019. 
let's have it available. Oh, let's do that date. No, sorry. Let's have it available from the 13th to February 20th. There we go. And so once you save it, it's good to go. And so that's how you will bring over previous year's course content into your new course this year.